I've been asked before, why Swan Lake? Why still in 2023 do we perform something like Swan Lake? Swan Lake is beautiful. And I'm not afraid of showing the beauty of classical ballet, the beauty of Swan Lake. People don't tire of seeing that beauty. And in fact, ballet dancers don't tire of dancing this choreography. You know, we're dealing with a, a, a version of Swan Lake that stood the test of time here with the, with the company. So we have this beautiful structure of Anne Williams' Swan Lake. But there are little tweaks that we're making. And we, we talk about that beforehand. But then when we walk into the studio, we set ideas on the dancers and then sharpen that and then tweak it and then sharpen it and then tweak it. So it's a bit of a process in the studio. The dancers come in, you know, if they're dancing Swan Queen Odette, they come in with an idea of what it should be because it's such a famous role. So there is a set intention. The idea for me is to nurture that intention, but also develop and challenge that intention. And I think that's really important to find individuality in interpretation because these are very individual, very beautiful, very expressive artists, but none are like the other. This has been going on for about two years, you know, when the process was out to here, and now actually we're at the pointy end. Um, and I think what I've learned is, yes, it says directed by David Holberg, but in fact, it's directed by so many people. It takes an absolute team. And what I have to do is trust the team. Daniel Osling doing the sets, Mara Blumenfeld doing the costumes, the entire costume department developing those costumes, the entire production department developing those sets. So when I've gone to check in with the costume department, with the production department, I've been blown away. And one thing that I'm most excited about this year in 2023 is that Swan Lake goes to four different cities in Australia. So many different Australian audiences will see it. First in Melbourne, then Adelaide, Brisbane, and in Sydney. And the intention is that this Swan Lake lasts, you know, the test of time. It will be in the repertoire for decades because Swan Lake is one of the most important ballets in classical ballet. And I think this version had its moment for a very long time, about 25 years, and is having another moment, another life, another iteration. And when something was created so well, when the wheel was created so well, there's no sense in losing uh, that beautiful piece of art when we premiere it in September. Thank you.